Anita Punya. I have done my bachelor's in botany. I have done my master's in cytogenetics and biotech. Currently, I am pursuing PhD. I have been mentoring NEET aspirants for eight years now. Hi students, today we will be talking about a very interesting topic in biology that is reproduction in organisms. Now before actually discussing this topic, we will first know what is biology. We all know that biology is the study of living things or living organisms. Now what is the difference between a living thing and a non-living thing? We know that in living things there are many different life processes taking place, right? Like nutrition, growth, movement, excretion, respiration, reproduction, so on. Now, few of these life processes could also be seen in non-living organisms. They could resemble these processes. But there is one life process that cannot be seen in non-living organisms, which is reproduction. So here we are talking about reproduction in organisms. What is reproduction? Why are we actually talking about reproduction? Let us see. So, reproduction is important for the survival of all living things. Without the mechanism of reproduction, life would come to an end. So, how can we define reproduction? Reproduction is that biological process through which an organism gives rise to its own kind. Reproduction enables the continuity of species generation after generation. Reproduction are of two types, asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Let us first talk about asexual reproduction. So, what is asexual reproduction? Asexual reproduction involves a single parent and it doesn't involve any gametes. It means a single parent is capable of giving rise to a new organism. Now, that organism is the clone of the parent. That organism, that new offspring resembles the parent morphologically and genetically. The other type of reproduction is sexual reproduction. Under sexual reproduction, sexual reproduction involves the participation of two parents, that is two gametes, that is male and female gamete. The offspring in the sexual reproduction resembles the parents but is not the identical clone of the parents or any of the parents. So what is asexual reproduction? In an asexual reproduction, a single individual, that is the parent, is capable of producing offsprings. The produced offsprings are clones of each other, wherein that organisms, those organisms are morphologically and genetically similar to the parent. Now let us also study the different types of asexual reproduction with respect to different examples for asexual reproduction. The first example is in the case of amoeba. In the case of amoeba, amoeba shows binary fission which is a kind of asexual reproduction. Let us see what is exactly happening in amoeba. So this is the adult amoeba, gradually the nucleus starts dividing and so do the cytoplasm and eventually a single cell of amoeba divides into two daughter cells. So what is exactly happening in binary fission? In this process the cells divide into halves and each half then develop into an adult. Another example for binary fission is paramecium. Let us see the second 
example of asexual reproduction or second kind of asexual reproduction. The second kind of asexual reproduction is budding. Budding is quite popular in Hydra and East. East is a fungi as you all know. You know that East is generally used in making cakes and breads to increase the texture of that food, right? So, what is budding? In this process, the cell divides unequally from the bud to form the bud which remains attached to the parent initially and then later on it detaches and develops in the mature cell. So initially there is this parent cell as you all can see and gradually a small bud will start developing on one of the end and then that bud will also have a nucleus and cytoplasm and there could be number of buds right then after some time the buds grow and these buds after attaining maturity detach from the parent and act as individual adults so this was budding in case of yeast another type of asexual reproduction is fragmentation Fragmentation, as the name suggests, fragments. Fragmentation is a form of asexual reproduction wherein an organism splits into fragments, just like this in the case of Spirogyra. As you all can see, this is Spirogyra. Spirogyra splits into two fragments, and each of the fragment then develop, mature, and turn into an individual adult so here what do you see you see fragmentation in spirogyra in this as you all can see is a form of asexual production wherein organism is splitting into fragments and each of the fragments develop into mature fully grown individual which is followed by mitosis it occurs in some algae like spirogyra as you can see in front of you some of the fungi, some annelids and some sea stars as well. Let us move on to the next type of asexual reproduction that is regeneration. Now regeneration as the name suggests, generating something or regenerating something. In this process renewal, restoration and growth takes place. It occurs at the level of cell tissue or organ. It's common in hydra, planaria, flatworms and echinoderms. You might be aware of this common example of a lizard. A lizard can discard a part of its tail when it is in danger and the tail can regenerate itself later on, right? You might, you will get fascinated if I tell you the next example. The example is of the human liver. The human liver can also regenerate itself if it is partially damaged, okay? Let me just show you the diagram of planaria which shows regeneration. So here you see this is planaria. The planaria splits into different pieces and each of the piece then regenerate into individual mature organism. In asexual reproduction, there are other specialized structures as well like zoospores, conidia, buds and gemule which help in asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction when it takes place in plants, it is called as vegetative propagation. When vegetative propagation or vegetative reproduction takes place, in that there are other things or other parts which help in asexual reproduction like eyes in the tuber, rhizome in the ginger, bilbils in agave plant, leaf buds, offsets, runners, suckers, bulbs, all of that. So this was all about asexual reproduction. In our next class, we will be talking about sexual reproduction. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.